Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at how to use Blender to create continuous animation cycles for render showcases. In this case we want it to just spin around on one axis continuously. So I start by parenting the bread to the breadboard after I have checked what axis that I want my things to spin on. And then I check the breadboard and I check that that is spinning and that the bread is following the main object. So then I use the time a little bit now to neaten up my test render and I'm going to just drop down the world lighting to a darker hue of grey just so that the bread looks more contrasty and nice. So then I go in and I open up the curve editor and start by adding in an expanded polynomial. After I've added a keyframe on for rotation for the breadboard because the breadboard is what we want to rotate. So after we have a Zedula rotation option to use our modifiers on, we start and we add an expanded polynomial and we can see that if we do that it spins really really quickly. We can use different types of polynomial in Blender which is what I just flicked through or we can use uh, built-in functions like signs and logarithms and what they do as you can see here or as you will be able to see now is they change the way or they generate different curves essentially and that means you can have something start really quickly and end up pretty slowly or start really slowly and end up pretty quickly. To get a good feel for this you really need to have to play around um, inside the curve editor is the best. Mostly in the tutorials I've done so far I've mostly covered just the sign function because that's one of the most useful especially for organic movement. Um, but in this case here I'm just showing how a logarithm will make it seem like it's going really quickly and then very slowly at the end as the log curve smooths out. So I go back now to an expanded polynomial and then there's two ways that we can adjust the speed at which this spins. Um, the first is the polynomial ratio, which is what I am using, and the second is the influence. And it's good to, to think of it in terms of the polynomial ratio sets the main, the main speed that you want to your, your object to spin at. Um, so it will indefinitely spin at that speed. And then the influence is just if you want to slow it down some. And you can only really slow it down using the influence. But it, it gives you a second point of fine control over the speed at which your, in this case, object is spinning. But it could be any animation or any parameter within Blender that you wanted to drive. So now I just finish up by checking that things are working properly and starting off a render. So now as we jump through the render we can finally see How this is going to look. So we can see that when we finally rendered out 
our object it spins really nicely and continuously uh, thank you for watching and I hope this is useful